Well, the museum likes to show its collection off, but parts of the collection we can't really show off uh, all at once unless you have a special exhibition. We've got a very good collection of marine art within our collection, and we haven't showed some of these paintings for a long time. In fact, some of them we've never shown before. And this is a very good opportunity to show these and have the exhibition without any particular focus. But as it happened, there is a coincidental focus because when this was planned, uh, it was in oh, early in the year and it was due to finish in July. But because of the COVID, we've had to extend it. And fortunately, it coincides with Merchant Navy Day which is the 3rd of September. So as you can see, looking around at the paintings that we've got on display, there's a whole variety of different types of marine art. It encompasses the Merchant Navy, the Royal Navy, so various countries, and it shows modern commerce as well as olden days commerce. Before the advent of photography, the only way of showing images was to use an artist to portray them. When you have a look around at the paintings that are on display, they encompass everything. We've got the wild sea, we've got the furious sea, we've got the calm sea, we've got a blue sea, we've got different coloured seas because of the time of the day. But it's true that the, the sea has many, many moods and artists have always loved to try and capture these moods. I get inspired by all types of sea. I prefer to use uh, a story like uh, one of the paintings I have in this exhibition is the Cape Morton um, at anchor and HMAS Flinders moving away after they were charting the hydrographer's passage. And rather than just doing a painting of a ship, I like to include a story in my work and this is a good example of that sort of thing. This is a wonderful painting of Seaman Sheen, ordinary Seaman Sheen. There are two paintings of this. One of them is in the Australian War Memorial, which is where the artist Dale Marsh originally donated it and then he very generously did another one for us. This painting shows Seaman Sheen strapped to his gun on the deck of the HMAS Armidale, which was attacked by a Japanese aircraft. And he did the extraordinary thing of strapping himself to his gun so he could continue firing, even though he was mortally wounded and he knew, obviously, that he had no chance of escape. In our painting, the water is covering his feet. In the painting in the Australian War Memorial, you can see his legs and feet quite clearly. There are other small differences as well, but this, I think, epitomises bravery of seamen who go to sea and have to face the horrors of war. The exhibition is called Visions of the Sea, and for obvious reasons, when you step inside this gallery at the Queens of Maritime Museum, you'll be able to see a wealth of images by a number of artists, some of whom are no longer with us, some of us who are still painting, and some who are long since past. But whatever you're looking for to see about marine art, you will find it here. We range from a still life of maritime objects to a huge painting of container ships and it's an important exhibition in many ways because it gives a good background into our maritime history. The exhibition uh, runs until the end of the year and it's just one of the wonderful experiences you'll have if you come and visit the Maritime Museum.